we first things first, I guess, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you said a few weeks ago when we spoke, you just wanted to kind of get it out of the way. Nice that it is out of the way now. Definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, I've known it's coming for a while, so uh, yeah, nice to be out of the way, but nice to do it in front of um, the fans here. Uh, the club were brilliant, sorted tickets out for my family, and they've all had a brilliant day, so no, really nice. It would have been nice to get the win we probably deserved with it, but uh, no, it's been a nice day. So, talk me through the emotions, I guess, leading into today for you, because while it is the first game in front of fans and everything, you've got to a point that, if I'm quoting you right, it was a goal you set a long time ago. Yeah, I, I think that's why it meant something. It doesn't mean something because it's the number 300 and that's anything particularly special. It's, it means something because I say I, t I targeted it a while ago and um, I knew what I had to do to achieve that and that was work and um, you know, it would be good enough to, to earn it and you know, not, nothing I don't feel had been given to me. Uh, and I've earned those 300 games and that was probably why it sort of, it sort of meant something and you bring your, your friends, your family, your teammates with you along the way because you, you care so uh, they all invested in, in it with me which is, means, means so much more. To have a nine-year-old son that's taller than you, how does that feel? As a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I do hope he ends up taller than his old man. He yeah, will. I mean, really, he's already nearly yeah, there, he's, let's yeah, be honest. He's, uh, he's no, uh, stronger. Freddie, tell me how proud of your dad you are. I'm pretty proud of him. He's, um, <laughs> he's nice. <laughs> You can't, don't, don't speak silly now. You, honestly, you can't use to shot him up and now you put a camera in front of his face and he goes all quiet. Do you, like, do you like your Tiger shirt, Fred? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Do you like the colours? Yeah. Actually, this isn't mine, this is my sister's, I just bought it again. Yeah, oh, got two, got two over there. Yeah. You wore the other one yesterday. Yeah, yes. I went to Kenya. We, the game itself, um, I guess put a coach's hat on for a second. How proud of that team are you for, I guess, fighting the way back? Yeah, there was everything in that game. There was glimpses of the team that we are and we're going to be. And then there's glimpses of the team that just hasn't quite cracked where we want to be yet. And a few moments, uh, and they've got some brilliant players, don't get me wrong, and, and that hurts you. But there's some really good lessons for us in there. Um, I think you have to go through them. Like you, you can, you can, the coaches can tell us till they're blue in the face that you know this is what's going to happen and this is what we need to do but the experience of going through something like that for us being being the better team and not getting the result that you should get um, hopefully that means that we learn that bit quicker as opposed to if we maybe got over the line today maybe we wouldn't feel you know those lessons that we did because we could have won that a couple of times over it's not just the not just the scrums at the end first time playing as a tigers player in front of the fans yeah. <laughs> at Matty Hollywood's yeah. welford road much better I can't, yeah, I know, I got a lot less abuse anyway, that was nice. Um, I can't believe how much noise 6,000 made. I can, we cannot wait till everyone's back in because if that's what 6,000 made, then it's going to be pretty special. And I think they feed off the energy of the lads as well, like, and we feed off them. But if we can get them going and play some good rugby for them, then we know that yeah, they're going to be really useful for us. Did they genuinely make a difference? Definitely. Did I, I, think, I think the intensity of the game, was different today. If I'm honest, the league has suffered because of uh, no crowds, because you cannot replicate that. I think the league's done a brilliant job of getting itself going and the lads flying into each other and the intensity, but it adds something extra. And I think we saw that at the end today. I think that's what the last 20 minutes, uh, if there's no crowd, we'll never know, but we, it definitely, it definitely helps us, dragged us through. What needs to happen next week for the season to be a success? Um, no, we want to go and win. I, th I think there's another chance for us to prove that we're not a team that goes away and not a team that's not going to front up. I think that's happened in the past for too long. It's not happening now. We're not go we're not where we want to be. We're not close to where we're going to end up. But you know, we're, we're we're starting. We're starting on something. You know, it's something that the players are going to want to be part of. And we've got another chance to prove that next week by not going, oh, this is the last game of the season, is there much on it? You know, we're, we're going to turn up and uh, do what Tigers do now, and rip in.